it's May 1st, folks. It's May 1st. It's mm -hmm. warming up at every okay. big league ballpark. Yeah. You might not feel it yet. But it's time to talk about something that, that is going to impact all of our lives from a, a fashion sense. Okay. It's May 1st. It's warm outside. Yeah, summer's coming. We got to talk. Beach body. We got to talk shorts. Okay. Because there are different types of shorts out there that are on trend, oh. Oh. that are fashion misses, mm. that are going to be coming back. Some vintage shorts. Okay. It's time to really go through your closet and talk about the shorts that are working in baseball. I want to start an on trend. These are the <laughs> shortstops that are red hot right now. These are the shorts that everyone knows are just fashion A plus. Xander Bogus. Boy, change of address from Boston to San Diego has done him well. Slow start for the Padres, but not for this guy. Did I Another short on trend, other than Xander Bogarts. Wander Franco. Almost all of his hits are for extra bases. He's been um, just awesome for no, the No, when I watch him hit, like I wish, like if I would be able to go back as a player. I would want to hit the way he hits his stance, his load, the way he loads, keeps his elbow tucked in real nice. I mean, he is he is a tremendous player. It's good to see him healthy. And Bo Bichette, five more hits tonight, Dan. You know, I think an AL MVP is on the horizon really soon. He's put it all together. Multiple hit games, playing great at shortstop. One of the reasons why I think the Jays still are the team to beat in the AL East. So athletic. Now, okay, these are the shorts that are on trend. Xander Bogarts, Wander Franco, and Bo Bichette. Y you want to... You want to roll out with these shorts. As for the shorts that are on trend, okay, so we're talking shorts. It's May 1st. Mm. Um, these are the shorts that might not be what you're wearing right now, but they're trending in the direction that they're going to be in vogue in a couple of weeks. Okay. Jeremy Pena of yep. the Astros. That is a short that is on, on a tear. Another hit today, Alex. Three home runs his last seven games. Yeah, I mean, he's been on fire the last few games. Like you said, he's got that hit streak. And, you know, working through some things early in the season, but he looks like he's back on track and, and leading that Astros. World Series MVP starting to heat up again now. Lieutenant Dan, Dansby Swanson. You wonder what, what would he look like outside of a Braves uni? Pretty good. He hit his second home run with the Cubs. One of the many reasons why I think the Cubs will be a surprise team. Beware, they're a dangerous team to win a wild card. These guys are going to become fashionable soon. Trey Turner, do you think he's about to get hot? Of course. I mean, I, I think track record just shows, tells you everything here. And with Trey, he's got the legs. So I think, you know, he's always got the ability to get on base because he can, he can run really well. You know, hit, between that, his defense, his base running, it's only a matter of time for Trey. These are fashion forward shorts. So they're not in style right now, but they're trending in that direction. Look, I got to be honest with you as we bring you back inside Studio 42. Not all shorts look like this. Not all of them do. I don't know no. if they're. Well, the legs, I mean, we have really incredible legs. So we're, we're showing well, them off. Mine are. I don't yeah. know about yours. Anyway, there are shorts that are fashion misses, shorts that aren't working right now. Like yours. Bobby Witt Jr. is scuffling. Are we concerned with Bobby no, Witt? No, not concerned. Listen, he's a young guy. He'll find it. I think when you get off to a slow start, particularly when you're a younger player, you start to press. You see the up on the scoreboard. You look and see what your average is. He'll get this eventually turned around. Too good of a player. Right now, he's a fashion miss. And I love Bobby Witt. He's not alone. Carlos Correa hitting well under 200. Yeah, this is a little strange. The fact that he has gotten off to this slow of a start and it's already going into May. But I mean, you, you just have to stick with the track record of Carlos and know that he's going to turn around. His numbers at the end of the year are going to be where they always are. Can we say the same thing about Javier Baez? Uh, are last, we concerned? Last year he was on the struggle bus, and I think it lasted all season long. I'm a little bit more concerned about Javi than I am the other two because he needs to get some things going in an extended period where he gets hot. Javi Baez, uh, you're right, had a handful of games where he kind of found it again after he was removed for a base running blunder. Javi Baez hitting 233, no home runs yet. These numbers are not impressive at the moment. They are fast misses they are shorts that are fashion misses now these shorts are getting a lot of attention more than likely they're going to give even more attention because um, I've never seen Alex Avila's legs before until tonight they're pretty good aren't they I'm not looking I've got good calves so here are shorts that 
are overlooked in the closet that need more <laughs> attention than the shorts are than, than the attention our shorts are getting. Rodolfo Castro, you don't even know who he is. That's a, that's a short that is overlooked. He filled in for O'Neill Cruz when he went down, and he's playing like O'Neill Cruz. Yeah, the fact that he's been able to come in and 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 do what he's been doing for the for the Pirates, and you know what they've been doing as a team overall has been huge for them. With missing. O'Neill uh, Cruz, but you know Castro's been on a tear. Tommy Edmond leading the Cardinals in home yeah, runs. Yeah, there hasn't far. been a lot of things that have gone right with for the Redbirds so far. Their starting pitching has been very disappointing. They haven't hit as much as we thought they hit, but it's not any fault of this guy. He's had a really good start to the season. May 1st, he's held up his end. There are a lot of reasons to not overlook the Baltimore Orioles. Jorge Mateo, can we finally start giving him the attention he deserves? Look, he might be the best of the bunch right now. Even the other guys, even our our, our our fashion guys at the top of the list here because I mean he's leading all the shortstops in OPS right now so it's like this guy's been you know you know tremendous all season and we should definitely be talking about him yeah. a lot more and there's one guy we also forgot you go back to the all-star game of last year and this is what trends start this is when like you talk to me look at this oh, man. this is our oh, very man. own right wow. he's having Miami Vice oh, flashbacks folks. now look at him I didn't know look at him good. definitely look at, look at it on the red carpet what am Look I, at that. What am I doing on this? I don't know. Network? You've got the sunglasses on. You're going all GQ magazine. Man. Right? Holy smokes. You should yeah. retire those. Man. That was a that that was fire. Well, you should retire those. Yeah, those they, are great. Yeah, these I don't know about those. Uh, the socks? I don't know. I, I yeah. might rethink the, the yeah, socks. I, yeah, I'm I, I was a little Anyway, we're talking. I was surprised shorts. both of you guys. Amsterdam looks like a chimney sweep. I want to rip you because you ripped me, but that was really good. I walk in the living room from the kitchen and I see the our legs. I love this show. Yes, thank you, Paul. It's May. We're talking shorts. <laughs> <All right. laughs> You know socking it. No, I'm not going socks. Come on. <laughs> Look at that. It was right. 